He is known for being an Irish rationalist philosopher and freethinker. He is recognized for writing numerous books and pamphlets on political philosophy and philosophy of religion. His name is John Toland. John Toland, a prominent Irish philosopher and freethinker, emerged during the Age of Enlightenment as a passionate advocate for rationalism and religious freedom. Born in Ireland, Toland received his education at esteemed universities and was heavily influenced by the teachings of John Locke, a renowned philosopher of the time. Toland's groundbreaking work, Christianity Not Mysterious, became his most renowned and controversial piece. In this influential publication, he boldly challenged the authority and hierarchy present in both the church and the state. His ideas struck a nerve with the public, prompting the burning of copies of his book by the public hangman in Ireland. Faced with persecution, Toland was compelled to leave his homeland, never to return again. Through his fearless pursuit of intellectual freedom, Toland became a symbol of resistance against oppressive systems of power. His work, though met with resistance during his time, laid the groundwork for the principles of religious tolerance and individual liberty. Toland's legacy as a champion of reason and enlightenment continues to inspire generations, reminding us of the power of critical thinking and the importance of questioning established norms. Very little is known of John Toland's early life. Born in Arda on the Inishowen Peninsula, a predominantly Catholic and Irish-speaking region in northwestern Ireland, his parents remain unknown. Toland would later playfully claim that he was baptized Janus Junius, a clever reference to both the Roman god Janus and Junius Brutus, the reputed founder of the Roman Republic. As a schoolboy, he adopted the name John at the encouragement of his teacher. At the age of 16, Toland formally converted from Catholicism to Protestantism and received a scholarship to study theology at the University of Glasgow. By the time he was 19, he had earned a master's degree from the University of Edinburgh. He then embarked on a two-year scholarship at the University of Leiden in Holland, followed by nearly two years at Oxford in England. During his time at Oxford, Toland gained a reputation for great learning and was known for his skepticism towards religion. It was at Oxford that Toland began writing his first book, Christianity Not Mysterious. In this work, he argued that the divine revelations of the Bible contained no true mysteries, but rather, all the dogmas of the faith could be understood and demonstrated through reason and natural principles. This controversial argument prompted several rebuttals and led to Toland being prosecuted by a grand jury in London. The Parliament of Ireland even proposed burning him at the stake, and in his absence, three copies of his book were burned in Dublin. Following his departure from Oxford, Toland spent the majority of his life in London, although he frequently visited the European continent, particularly Germany and the Netherlands. He lived on the continent from 1707 to 1710. Toland passed away in Putney on March 10, 1722, at the age of 51. He died in poverty, surrounded by his books and with his pen in hand, just as he had lived. Before his death, he composed his own epitaph, stating that he was an asserter of liberty and a lover of all sorts of learning. John Toland's philosophy challenges traditional religious beliefs and encourages the use of reason and natural principles to understand religious dogmas. His emphasis on the power of rationality and critical thinking can be applied to our daily lives. By questioning and examining our beliefs and ideas, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Toland's legacy reminds us to be independent thinkers, unafraid to challenge established norms and seek knowledge and truth in all aspects of life. John Toland, the renowned freethinker and prolific writer, dedicated much of his intellectual pursuits to critiquing ecclesiastical institutions and advocating for political change. Initially aligned with the Whig cause, Toland's views gradually became more radical as he delved deeper into his philosophical explorations. Toland's opposition to hierarchy in the church soon extended to hierarchy in the state. He argued that bishops and kings were equally detrimental, and monarchy lacked any divine sanction as a legitimate form of government. His groundbreaking work, Letters to Serena, published in 1704, delved into the nature of truth and the prevalence of false consciousness among individuals. But it was in the realm of politics where Toland's most radical proposition emerged. He believed that liberty was the defining characteristic of humanity, and political institutions should be designed to safeguard freedom rather than merely establish order. For Toland, reason and tolerance were the twin pillars of a just and harmonious society, challenging the prevailing Tory belief in sacred authority within both church and state. Toland's commitment to equality extended beyond the political realm. In a time when Jewish people were still seen as outsiders in 18th century England, Toland advocated for their full citizenship and equal rights in his groundbreaking work, Reasons for Naturalizing the Jews, published in 1714. He was the first to boldly propose the idea of perfect equality among freeborn citizens, including the Jewish community. 
While his intellectual pursuits were renowned, Tolan's political pamphleteering also had an incendiary side. He tapped into the prevailing anti-Catholic sentiments of the time to fuel his attacks on the Jacobites, adding a fiery element to his writings. John Tolan's philosophy continues to resonate today, offering valuable insights into the importance of liberty, reason, and tolerance in shaping a just society. His radical ideas challenge us to question established hierarchies and strive for equality among all individuals, regardless of their background. Tolan's legacy serves as a reminder that intellectual curiosity and a commitment to justice can lead to transformative change in our daily lives. John Toland, a prominent philosopher of the 18th century, was known for his controversial polemics that challenged established religious beliefs. One of his most notorious works was the Treatise of the Three Impostors, a manuscript that purportedly condemned Christianity, Judaism, and Islam as the three great political frauds. This treatise, which had been rumored to exist since the Middle Ages, caused quite a stir throughout Europe. Toland, claiming to possess a personal copy of the manuscript, entrusted it to the circle of Jean Rousset in France. The news of its existence quickly spread, and there were even rumors of a French translation. However, not everyone took these claims seriously. Voltaire, the renowned Enlightenment philosopher, responded with a satirical reply, dismissing the treatise as a mere fabrication. The treatise of the three impostors, whether real or not, posed a significant challenge to the prevailing religious norms of the time. It questioned the foundations of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, suggesting that these religions were political tools rather than genuine expressions of faith. Tolan's work invited critical examination of religious institutions and their influence on society. While the authenticity of the treatise remains uncertain, its impact can still be felt today. It reminds us of the importance of questioning established beliefs and engaging in critical thinking. Tolan's provocative ideas urge us to challenge the status quo, to examine the motives behind religious and political ideologies, and to seek the truth beyond surface appearances. In a world where misinformation and manipulation are prevalent, Tolan's treatise of the three impostors serves as a reminder to approach information with skepticism and to seek evidence-based knowledge. It encourages us to question the narratives presented to us, especially those that hold immense power and influence over our lives. By doing so, we can strive for a more informed and enlightened society. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.